What is indigenism? Indigenism is a political ideology that has been popular in the Americas, Oceania, and other regions of the world. It claims to advocate for the rights of indigenous peoples in these regions. In this video, I will be focused in indigenism from a perspective of the New World, or the Americas. I will analyze and explain this ideology, its impact, and why it lacks of coherence, at least from my perspective as a South American. Since I was a kid in my country, Venezuela, they used to talk to me about the Spanish conquest of the Americas and their colonial rule. It was always from different perspectives. At school, they often told me the Spanish were the evil on earth because they arrived to the continent and took over through quote and quote, an invasion, whatever it happened or not. That's not what I will address in this video, but instead let's formulate some questions. First, was the Americas a peaceful heaven before Spaniards arrived? Second, was this all a new thing for indigenous peoples? Let's start with the first question. Both the Aztec and Inca empires already had oppressed peoples within their territories, and the elites of such pre-Columbian states were often from a certain ethnic group that subjugated the others, such as the Tlaxcalans who were oppressed by the Aztecs and eventually allied with Hernan Cortes to rise up. And regarding the second question, we could say that in many ways, no matter if the Spanish were evil or not, the Spanish takeover was just the transition to a new management, rather than the old world introducing the Americas to oppression and subjugation, which already existed, including slavery. In retrospective, we could ironically compare this to the Islamic conquest of the Iberian Peninsula, where for almost a millennium, the Arabs dominated the region and imposed their ways of ruling to the population. Despite of this, there's no indigenous activists asking Arabs for reparations for all they did in the Iberian Peninsula under their rule. But instead, in many times, these activists have defended the mass migration of people to Spain and Portugal. At the same time, indigenism is tied with social justice. This implicates that indigenous activists also support self-determination for these indigenous peoples. However, they still don't have a clear goal since they claim that the Americas and other regions are stolen lands. But by following this logic, we get to ask ourselves, what do indigenous want? The creation of an indigenous free state in some part of the Americas? This question is important because there's not a clear answer to it. I mean, what is the main goal? And also, does that mean that the descendants of non-natives of the Americas have the right to live in the continent? They should leave or stay. We could argue that cultural self-determination is important and it is, they of course have the right to it. But indigenism goes further. All of this gets us to a delicate point where indigenous activists talk about colonization and white supremacy, often tying their ideology and movement to anti-racism. Despite of this, we find intellectuals and activists on the matter exalting indigenous peoples as morally superior, inherently good, and always being right no matter what. So what we finally get is ethno-nationalism covered by a social justice banner which is very sad considering that many peoples are actually struggling for. Their rights nowadays. Indigenism has a lot of details to think about as I mentioned. One of the most notable things on this is the fact that indigenism is almost entirely adopted by left-wing and far-left circles. This point is crucial to understand the true nature of indigenism. Activists and politicians from the left-wing spectrum try to appeal to many groups including indigenous, I repeat indigenous but not indigenous peoples directly, at least not always, and this is due to the fact that not only them, but even many people with power tend to use indigenism as a tool to polarize and control through identitarian ideas. Just like other groups tend to use white supremacy as a tool and other extremist ideas. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel to watch more content like this. Peace out.